Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm now answering question number three from the June 2024 Pure Mathematics P2 paper from the um, International A-Level and Excel exam. And this question here is about logarithms. So it says here, using the laws of logarithms, solve this equation here. 2 log to the base 2, 2 minus x equals 4 plus log to the base 2, x plus 10. So when we are solving um, a log equation, we have to try to um, bring all the log terms on one side and the normal terms on the other side. So I'm going to first of all write this as 2 times the log to the base 2 of 2 minus x minus the log to the base 2 of x plus 10 equals 4. Okay, now, um, I'm going to try to combine these two log terms together, and they both have the same base, so that's fine. But this multiple of this log term has to be rewritten such that you have, you write it as, uh, you know, you get rid of it and write it as a power. So this is going to be log to the base 2 of 2 minus x squared. All right, so this multiple can be written as a power from the power law of logarithms. So there's some basic laws of logarithms that we really need to understand, um, you know, before we delve into this topic and try to answer such questions. And one of those laws of logarithms is the power law, which is basically if you have log to the base, um, let's say, P of Q to the power of R, that's the same as R times log to the base P of Q. Okay, you can write this using the power law like this, and vice versa. Okay, and there's a, a logic behind that. For example, if I have, for example, uh, three times, let's say I have log, log to the base, let's say um, three of, let's say um, two to the power four. Okay, so this is the same as saying log to the base three of two times two times two times two. All right? So this power is only on the two, it's not for the whole log. Right? Now, this by the law of addition, which is another one of the laws that we need to know, is going to be log to the base three of two plus log to the base three of two plus log to the base three of two plus log to the base three of two, which gives us how many? One, two, three, four, four log to the base three of twos. So you can see that this became that, which is the same as just writing the four in front of this. Okay, that's where this comes from. Okay, so we've got two laws of logarithms that are kind of included in this little proof here. And one of them is important that when you have the log to the base A, let's say P of Q times R, this is the same as log to the base P of Q plus log to the base p of r and if we have log to the base p of q divided by r then this would be log to the base p of q minus log to the base q p of r okay the subtraction law or you could say the division law the the multiple law or the multiplication law or the addition law okay so those three laws are very important Okay, so you have this law and this law and that law, which are really very important for us to know, and we can help. That will help us to manipulate these logarithms such that it's easy for us to deal with. So I'm now going to use this law that I mentioned here to combine these together. So I can't combine them unless I get rid of this and write it as a power. Now, because they're both the same base, in all of these cases the bases have to be the same. Now I can write this as a division. So I'm going to have two minus x all squared divided by x plus ten equals 4. So now I've written it in a form where there's a single kind of log statement. Now I can go ahead and um, you know, rewrite this in index form. How do I write this index form? Well, you use the fact that log to the base P of Q equals R can be rewritten as this is the base, so P. This is the power, so R is equal to Q. So base, power, Result. P to the power of R equals Q. So in this case, we've got 2. And this is our power. So the power of 4 is equal to what's in here. So it's 2 minus x all squared over x, x 
plus 10. So now I have written this and there is no logarithm. I can now solve for x and um, you know, get to the answer. This is going to be 16 to the power of 4 is 16. So you have 16 times x plus 10. Get rid of the fraction by multiplying by x plus 10. And when you expand this, you're going to get 4 minus 4x plus x squared. That's what happens when you expand that. And so this is going to be here, 16x plus 160 is equal to 4 minus 4x plus x squared. So we're going to end up with x squared. You got minus 4x minus 16x, which is minus 20x. I'm going to have 4 minus 160, which is minus 156, equals 0. So now we have to try to solve this. How does it say give us answer? Okay, so I think we're going to use uh, factorizing here. Okay, so we've got to have basically it, two numbers that multiply together to give you negative 156. And when you add them together, you get negative 20. So you have x plus, and of course, x minus. And what are those two numbers going to be? Um, let's have a look. 156. The difference between them has to be 20. Well, we can start. We could use our calculator for this, I guess. 78 and 2, of course, that doesn't work. Let's say 4. We're going to have 39 and 4. No, not quite. Let's look at 6. 26 and 6, that's the one. 26 and 6, the difference between them is 20. And the 26 has to be the negative one. And the 6 has to be positive. So we have x equals negative 6 and x equals 26. Now we have to you know make sure that these actually uh, solve the equation right now the log can never have a negative input the input cannot be a negative okay um, and it can never be zero either right it can't be zero or negative input. So if we put minus or negative 6 into here, this is going to give you 2 plus 6, which is fine. And if you put negative 6 in here, it's going to give you negative 6 plus 10, which is also fine, positive. So that will give us a solution, okay, which is correct. But if you put x equals 26 into here, you're going to have 2 minus 26, which is going to give you a negative value, minus 24. Okay, so this will not give us, okay, this causes undefined, the, you know, this part to be undefined. If you put log, we have 2 times the log of x minus 20, x minus 2. When you put 26 in here, it's going to be undefined. Okay, so we have to only choose x equals minus 6. So the solution is x equals minus 6 only. Okay, be careful not to include both answers. So x equals minus 6 is the only value of x which will cause this to be something which is defined. All right, so there's the answer to three part one. And then it says for part two, it says find the value of log to the root of, I wrote this a bit earlier, sorry. Log to the root, log to the base of root A of A to the power of six. We'll find the value of this, okay, where A is a positive constant. So I'm gonna say, as I wrote here before, let's, let's, let's call this equal to X. Okay, let's say this is equal to X. And now we can try to deal with it. So remember, we said before, log to the base P of Q equals R can be rewritten as this is the base P, this is the power R, and that's equal to what's inside the, the input on the log function. So this is the base, this is the power, this is the input. All right, so we got root A to the power of X is equal to A to the power of 6. All right, so what I can do here is I can rewrite this in the index form. So it's A to the power of a half the power of x equals a to the power of 6. And then I can um, use the law of indices where you have, you have for example, um, p to the power of uh, q to the power of r is like p to the power of q times r. And multiply the powers. So this would be a to the power of a half x equals a to the power of 6. Now the bases are both the same. Okay. The bases are both the same, and I told you A is a positive constant greater than 1, that's fine. So therefore we can say a half x is equal to 6, therefore x is equal to 12. Okay, so when you put x equals 12, um, that basically that is the value of this. The value of this is 12. Okay.
Okay, so that there is the answer to this question. X equals 12. A, find the value of that. So A is a positive, not a greater than 1. Okay, good. So that's the answer to this question here. And, um, you know, you can try it out, for example, if you put log to the, say, the square root of, say, 4, of 4 to the power of 6, okay, then you can think about this as, um, you know, let's call this x, you have x, you have root 4 to the power of x equals 4 to the power of 6, so 4 to the power of half x equals 4 to the power of 6, so half x equals 6, you'll get the same result every time. So, Basically, that will give us the right answer. So x equals 12 is the answer. And that concludes this question number three, which is all about logarithms. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear on the top right of the screen at the end of the video. Other questions from the topic um, of, of, from this paper, sorry, can be found in this, in this playlist. Other questions from the topic of logarithms can be found in this playlist down here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link over there. And the video above will tell you how to use my channel to find what you're looking for. Thank you for watching and see you soon.